fear that this has been made worse by the recent commissioning decision by NHS Midlands to withdraw the breast cancer mobile screening unit from Buxton, Chapel on the Frith and New Mills in the High Peak, citing COVID as the reason for this decision. Instead, my constituents are being asked to travel to appointments at Bakewell in the Derbyshire Dales. I'm very worried about the impact this decision is having. To be clear, this is no slight at all on New Home Hospital in Bakewell and the fantastic staff there. I pay tribute to them, to all the NHS staff working in breast cancer screening services. This is a question of accessibility. The Peak District is beautiful, but our transport links are poor, especially in the winter months when road closures are common with extreme weather. For example, to drive from the village of Roweth to Bakewell, it typically takes just under an hour to drive and involves having to drive a good part of the way on single track country lanes, which often close when snow and heavy rain falls. Public transport links between the High Peak and Bakewell are even more limited. The railway between Buxton and Bakewell closed in 1968, cutting off the High Peak from the rest of Derbyshire. I'm very worried about how many women will be unable to make screening appointments. And that is why I've been campaigning to get the mobile screening unit reinstated at the High Peak as a matter of urgency. In the space of only a few weeks, over 2,000 local people have signed my petition calling for the reinstatement. I hope that the government will listen and that the Minister can give my constituents good news today. Thank you, Sir Edward. It's a pleasure to see you in the chair this afternoon. And I'd like to thank the Honourable Member for uh, High Peak for securing this important debate and for his introductory speech. It's clear he feels very passionately about improving access to breast cancer screening for his constituents. And, and he was right. There has been tremendous progress made in tackling this awful disease in recent years, but there is still, as we've heard today, an awful long way to go. And he mentioned the importance of screening, I think, as most members did. And it's very sorry to hear that the mobile screening service in his uh, constituency has, has been uh, uh, temporarily halted. I hope it is a temporary halt and the Minister is able to give us some good news when she responds. And I, I, know, I know it's particularly disappointing because he actually spoke very highly of it in, in the last debate that we had on, on this matter only uh, last month. And he certainly set out very clearly why. Um, moving to the, the system that we have at the moment is, is, is presenting a particular challenge to his constituents. Uh, he also um, gave some very uh, personal testimony about the consequences of a delay in screening uh, and why, of course, access uh, is important. And moving on to uh, my honourable friend from High Peak, um, who, and I would like to pay tribute to the fact that he came to me he mentioned in uh, this place that he felt that High Peak was special due to its geography, that he didn't want to see the women um, that he serves in his constituency being disadvantaged in any way by a loss of service. Um, I understand that the decision to put breast screening services in the stat in, in a, into static positions was taken to maximise capacity. I was, um, I was quite amazed, actually, that pre-pandemic, 70 to 80 per cent of screening happened in mobile units, um, particularly helpful in, air, in dispersed rural areas, um, I would admit, but obviously with some of the challenges of providing COVID secure spaces, um, making sure some of these units don't, didn't even have running water. So there was a decision made to bring them back to a static site. Um, the units can stay open longer, they can stay open at the weekend, and there is about a thousand more appointments being able to put through a static site over a three month period. That is a lot more women that you can see. And whilst I do take on board the point about the travel, I am just asking women to bear with us on this and just work with us. These are temporary changes, but they're a vital measure in the recovery of breast screening services, allowing more women to be seen, particularly those who may have missed an appointment during the crucial year. I know that those longer travel times um, are difficult. I know that those beautiful hills in his constituency that he is blessed with don't have particularly good bus services either. And this is not always an easy proposition. But it was decided, for now at least, that optimising the service to see as many people as possible should take priority over the optimisation of um, a mobile service. 
So when he came and met me, I couldn't give him any assurance. He's pushed me again today. I can assure him this is a short-term measure. The increase of appointment availability will, insist, will assist us in mobile screening being resumed for high peak, um, safety permitting by July 2021. So I've been reassured by the Chesterfield Royal Hospital's NHS Trust that they're monitoring attendance. This temporary compromise is while services recover and that the usual screening locations um, will be reinstated in the longer term to ease that issue of access. I want to take this opportunity to stress that those screening services are safe to attend and a range of measures have been put in place to ensure people object. And I'm just very pleased um, with the news that the breast cancer screening service, the mobile unit, will be reinstated to the high peak. Um, I hope she understands that I'll be um, holding her feet to the fire uh, and making certain that that date is brought forward to be as soon as possible so that we can get the mobile unit back to New Mills, Chapel on the Frith and Buxton and for the rest of the high peak. Thank you very much.